Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Hardcore here, and today I'm bringing you some demolition, radiation, black ops, same shit, different day. And obviously, I'm not gonna talk much about the gameplay. And well, every other commentator has been giving their thoughts on new games that have been coming out. You know, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3. So I'm just gonna stick to Modern Warfare 3 because I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested in what I have to think about how Modern Warfare 3 is going to be, how it's going to play, whether or not I'm going to like it, whether or not I'm going to get it. So let me just start by saying I am going to get Modern Warfare 3 no matter what. And the reason for that is because it's Call of Duty. You can't not get a game of Call of Duty because then you'll be excluded. And it's kind of sad to say it like that. I mean, if you don't get Modern Warfare 3, then you're not going to be able to play with any of your friends because they're all going to be playing Modern Warfare 3 because all of their friends are going to be playing Modern Warfare 3. And it's just a cycle of... It, it's it's sad because like you're if you feel obligated to buy the game and to play the game as soon as it comes out, no matter what. And as far as whether or not I think Modern Warfare 3 is going to be good, I think it's going to completely suck. And I I want to clarify that I actually I hate every Call of Duty. I don't enjoy playing Call of Duty. I haven't played Call of Duty in like multiplayer in about a month. I've been playing Gears 3. I've been playing Halo Reach. I've been playing some connect and just having fun with that and that's what I really enjoy about gaming. Call of Duty is just too frustrating. I've been so calm since I stopped playing it. And for all of you guys who are thinking right now, well, you you think Modern Warfare 3 is going to suck? You at least give a fucking reason. Well, Modern Warfare 3 is going to suck because let's put it this way. Look at Modern Warfare 2. I if you're honest with yourself, you can honestly say that without One Man Army Danger Close, Modern Warfare 2 would have been the perfect Call of Duty game. Now look at it this way. If they patch the One Man Army Danger Close and Commando and etc., then to the casual gamer, what would be the point of buying a new Call of Duty if there's already a perfect Call of Duty out there? You know, you know something going off in your head right now? Should be. The reason they're not patching any Call of Duty is because if they make a perfect Call of Duty that has nothing wrong with it, then overall, it's there's no reason to make another one, no reason to buy another one. And the gaming companies, instead of having to lose money by patching it, they're going to be making so much more money just by making a new game. And it's it's sad. I mean, look, Infinity Ward, as much as I hate them because they're I feel they're money-grubbing bastards, they... They know how to play the system. They know how to manipulate people into buying their games. And it's it, 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 I have to say, I'm kind of impressed. But another reason why I think Modern Warfare 3 is going to suck is because how many people who play it. No matter what, if you have a large majority of people, like millions upon millions of people playing the games, you're going to have assholes who play the game. People in general, their personality just screams asshole. And the assholes who play the game are going to find the exploits in the game and ruin it for everybody else in the entire game. And it, it's sad to think about it like that. Just like your gaming experience is going to be ruined just because someone doesn't know how to play the game right. And it, it I, I don't like the concept of that. It's because there's so many people who play the game, which is why I've been enjoying playing Gears 3. Gears of War 3, it has a big audience, but not a massive audience. So I've been playing Gears of War 3, and not, they haven't really exploited anything. I mean, the sawed-off is an exploit you can easily use, but hardly anybody uses that because everybody enjoys using the Nasher because it's the skillful way to play the game. It's the right way to play the game. And anyway... That's really what I wanted to say about what I think about Modern Warfare 3, the community, and Call of Duty in general. And right here, you see we're just spawn trapping the enemy so bad. They all just rage quit. It's kind of funny. But anyway, this video is wrapping up. My final score was 20-something and 1, I think. It was a pretty decent score for Demolition, and we were spawn trapping. And uh, don't forget to rate and comment the video, and leave your comment. What do you guys think that Modern Warfare 3 is going to be like? Do you think it's going to suck? Do you think it's going to be awesome? Do you? I want to know, really. So I'll leave that comment, and that's all I had to say. Thanks for watching, and peace out.